Hey y'all, welcome back to another edition of Ease with Fifi. How are you guys doing today? How are you feeling? Are you being blessed, staying blessed, and being blessed in somebody else? Let's stay positive. So, let me tell you what I got on the menu today. I have got a ground beef with Italian sausage um, mixture in my meat with this pappardelle, pappardelle noodle. Y'all see that noodle? Hold on. You guys, it's so good. And I got some cheese toast bread. So, you guys, let's get into it. Mm. Hot. The topic of today is the Fufu Challenge. Honey, it's a uh, African lady took offense. This lady's going off about the way people are pronouncing fufu and then making the fufu challenge, the fufu, eating African food a challenge. Let's see. Yeah. get this in y'all but yeah so some guy who was naked with a beer bone went to a African restaurant got some food did a video and now he's getting death threats and he spit it out he's like what the fuck But my thing is this. If he didn't like the food, he just didn't like the food. Nine times out of ten, it's not the dish itself. It's probably the people who made it. That particular restaurant. So... But yeah, it's social media. People are so oversensitive. I guess because we end up with time on hands. Mm -mm. But this right is good, y'all. Yeah. But spaghetti is always good. Always good. So, what do y'all think about uh, eating other culture food and call it a challenge? Y'all think that's disrespectful? I don't. I don't. 
I don't think it's disrespectful. <clears throat> if you don't like it, you don't like it. If it's not for your taste bud, never know. Taste buds could be unrefined. And if you eat processed food all the time, you're not going to uh, take kindly to uh, some fresh ingredients. Not too quickly. It takes time. But the young guy gives him death threats and all that kind of stuff. I kept my stuff up. More than likely, what he's gonna do next is he's gonna go get some more African food. It's like, oh, so good. Baby, keep your energy. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I've tried different kinds of African food, and it's a hit and miss. But I realize, what I realize is, depends on where you go. Mm hmm. Depends on where you go to get. Because I noticed that when I go to the restaurants where the meat is tender, falling off the bone, it's really good. There are other restaurants that I go to and the meat ain't um, falling off the bone. It's rushed. Ain't where it is. So. You know, it is what it is, but I don't think you should be getting no, no death threats. I mean, that's a little. So he's disrespectful. You gonna make, force everybody to like your stuff? Man, please. Could he be been a little bit more, uh, not dramatic with it? Yeah, but that's his thing. He's dramatic. I don't know. That's what diversity is. Get into it. If you don't like them, don't watch this content. Mm. This is really that simple. Don't get butt hurt behind it. Now you're accepting somebody to Except your culture's food. A way of bullying. Make no sense. But that's just my opinion. It might be an unpopular opinion, but guess what? It's mine. Let me know what y'all think about people attacking that man for having a negative opinion on his fufu meal. Y'all, it's late. I'm not trying to eat for the past three hours. But anywho, y'all, don't forget to be blessed, stay blessed, and be a blessing somebody else. And remember, we winking at folks. Remember, it's not, it's not what you do now that affects you now. It's what you do now that affects you later. Okay? Don't forget to wear your mask. Wash your hands. And wash your ass. Until next time, y'all. Peace.